So as long as I have my double toys out, I thought it'd be a good time to do something a little bit different. Um, this is more of an informative video or just for those who are curious. Because I recently got something in the mail that gives me a particular opportunity that does not come around often. Uh, a fan of mine, Nick, sent me this big box of really cool stuff. And uh, the circumstances were he was trying to find a good home for it. And just, I didn't know what he was going to send me. Just, it was either send it to me or throw it away. So, okay, don't let it go to waste. Go ahead and send me whatever you want. And what he wanted to send me was a ton of stuff. And just like stuff, I don't even know where it's going to go. But the condition was, he was just looking for a good home for it. And if I couldn't give it a good home, then uh, go ahead and eBay it. So it goes to somebody who's after it. And... A lot of what you're going to see in this video is going to go that way because I'm going to show you a lot of Korean released Kamen Rider double toys, or at the very least demonstrate a lot of the audio and show you the differences. Because of course, I still have my original Japanese release of everything. But as you can see, this is the Japanese belt. And one thing I want to show you about the Korean releases, because there is a bit of a misconception sometimes about them, is they are virtually identical and actually completely identical it's the exact same toy molding right down to the copyright stamp on the back this is the korean release if you look at the back you can still see the japanese dialect on there so that is the exact same mold and it's the exact same quality as the original japanese release so there's never anything to fear about like them being inferior just because they're a later release from a different country and before the double driver, they were virtually identical. The only thing different on any of them was printed language. Uh, you'd get like decade cards, which are actually more accurate in this, in that, uh, in the Korean release, because there were no Gombarai logos or stats or numbers or on it or anything, and the cards were typed in English. It did lead to a few weird instances, but for the most part, they looked a lot more like the show did than the original DX's cards, which is kind of strange. But everything after that has gotten a little bit weird, because so many of the memories and so many of the sound effect toys in general started focusing on spoken language to name things. So rather than just sound effects, now it's voice, and sometimes the voices get re-recorded. Now, in the older Korean stuff, Double Belt, Fies, or I mean, uh, the Decade Driver, uh, the Fies Belt, uh, the noises are clear, the voices are clear enough they left them alone. But everything since then uh, has been getting re-recorded, which has made it kind of dicey to get the Korean release, even though they tend to be cheaper, and if you're getting into a series later, easier to find. Uh, and just in case... Just in case, because usually sellers are going to mark whether it's Korean or not. Uh, if you do happen into a double driver and you're not quite sure, uh, from the box, the easiest way to tell is there's no flap on top of the box like there is for a Japanese release. Uh, just in case it's uh, a particular box that doesn't have a flap in the Japanese release either, uh, your second bet is the language. Uh, Korean, dot, uh, Korean lettering uses a lot more loops and circles than Japanese language does. So that's generally the fastest way of telling the two languages apart if you're not familiar with either. If all you have is the physical shape, uh, it's a little bit trickier, but there is still a way. If you actually look in uh, for the double driver itself, like the molding is completely the same. What I hold here is the DX metal memory from the Japanese release. And this is the Korean release. So you get a minute here. Can you spot the difference between the two? Pause the video if you absolutely have to. The difference is the circuit boards. Because in the Japanese release, it's all going to be green. In the Korean release, they're all yellow. So that's how you tell them apart physically. Just in case you're at like a convention or something and someone has them at a booth. That's how you tell them apart. So that gets a little bit dicey in other releases, but for the double driver, it's true. And that's that should give you the basis for telling them all apart. Now, for the actual like differences and sound effects, well, of course we have. Uh, I'll go ahead and do the traditional for the Japanese release just so we can hear 
what the classic sounds like. I still love it. And now we will show the Korean version. Just a little different, isn't it? It's a deeper voice and the accent trying to speak English words. Quite different. Also, I don't know if it's just because the audio, the equipment is newer or if the batteries on mine are wearing down. These do seem quite a bit louder. I don't know. It's just something I just now noticed. So that is our Cyclone Joker. We might as well go through the more traditional combinations of the others. So... I guess, uh, which comes up next? Oh, yeah. I'll go with these two. These are still Korean. You can actually tell that the voice actor for these has an easier time with some English words and gets them pronounced a little bit more clearly. You know, heat is very distinct in this one. And I guess we finish off with, uh, yeah, Lunar Trigger. You notice all the sound effects are the same. It's just the voice actor is different. So it's still the exact same toy and still arguably really good quality. And it is really good quality. The only difference is it's not going to sound the way the original Japanese voice actors sounded. And it's very interesting how just such a subtle difference can change the feel and the personality of the toys. And since I also have it, and we just reviewed it, we might as well show you what Fang sounds like. Go ahead, Joker. Now, not to make fun of anyone's language or them trying to speak a different language, but I don't hear half of the word fang in there. It just, it's just sounds like fa. So it's, it sounds a little bit different. And I'm fa. Like, I, can't, I can't be the only one that hears that. And I'm sure someone can hear the NG at the end of that. As you see, it all functions and sounds exactly the same. It's just the voice. As you can see, it's still like really good. So if you're looking for older Kamen Rider belts and Korean is all you can find, if it's something like a Kabuto Zector, a Fize driver, or a Fize belt, or a Deca driver, things like that, it's pretty much the, an, an absolutely identical toy. You don't need to worry about anything. It's going to serve you perfectly well. It's just when we get into all the later ones, the Neo Heisei era, the things do start to get a little bit muddled and you're not going to get the exact toy you expect. But it's still going to be really good quality and the play value is still going to be exactly the same. So don't have any kind of misconceptions about, well, it's not released in Japan, so the quality is not going to be the same. As long as we're at this, I'm just going to spend the rest of this time having fun. Who's next? Oh, you know who's next. At this point, you can shut the video off anytime. Like, I admit, this video is not going to be useful to many, but it's going to be useful and entertaining to some. I'm just kind of goofing around at this point. 
It's all just silly from here. I think my favorite part of this is just seeing how bright we can get the chamber to light up in the same color. Which, let's get this and hope that my metal isn't glitchy anymore. Yay, it all works again. The miracle of modern cleanliness. It actually says EM now. Hmm, just weird observations. Yeah, you remember this from, like, the, the, the movie, you know, Cyclone, Cyclone, Joker, Joker. Now this is all of them. We're making a Sentai team. Ooh, pretty yellow. All right, I got one more to go. Let's try it out. Coming off. Those two are a little out of sync, actually. That sounded a little weird at the end. Very vibrant in the chamber, though. And uh, for the sake of being complete here, there's no way for me to, like, without serious modification, there's no way for me to plug two fangs in at the same time. So, we'll cheat it. Call Chris Pratt. I've got a very angry belt on my hands. So, that is our comparison. They are the exact same toy. Have no reservations of quality just because it's not from Japan. They are still quite good. And in the rare instances, you have to identify the two. Hopefully, you have a little bit of education in you now. I just wanted to do something weird with them, just, just for the sake of doing it. As long as I have these toys around, because, the, as I said, the Korean ones are heading to eBay to find a much better home. And, you know, whoever has the opportunity to just goof around with these kind of toys like this. Because we're having fun here. That's what it's all about. We just have fun and goof around. And maybe we'll actually get to something of actual substance next time.